It's way too early for this mess. What's up guys? So, uh, <coughs> What is up guys? I'm trying to start a new chapter in my channel's life, I guess. Uh, I'm about to try some reformatting again. And there is a freaking train passing in front of me. It's okay, I'll wait. Finally! Yay! So like I was saying, I'm trying, about to try some new reformatting for my channel. Exciting stuff. <laughs> Unless you can tell. It is currently 8.16 in the morning. No one should be up this early. In my opinion. <laughs> it's way too freaking early. Okay, I woke up. And I wanted to go back to bed instantly. That's just how it is. I figured to get the ball rolling for my channel because I'm in a weird spot as far as my channel is concerned because uh, there's just not really any progress or growth in general. Not just because I haven't been posting anything, but uh, I don't know, YouTube has been in a weird funk recently with all the different stuff going on. Of course, a huge chunk of it affects me none, because I don't monetize my videos. People are like, ah, oh, this is channel breaking, ah! I'm like, yeah, well, I don't monetize my videos, so. <laughs> my YouTube can't be over if it never started. And like I said, some reformatting is on its way. I've got several ideas planned out. Uh, however far it progresses is up to me, I guess. I said I was going to reformat before, and all I did was put my videos in different playlists. That's not reformatting. That's just being organized. <laughs> so, yeah, I have a plan in place. Will this be the start of it? We'll see. So I figured to get the ball rolling, well, I'm not going to say that yet. <clears throat> Me personally, I figured I would A, li try to live up to my name better. Uh, and that could result in something catastrophic, but uh, you know, you never learn if you don't try. So, what I'm planning is possibly having <laughs> multiple types of videos within one video. And I know what you're thinking. That's going to be a freaking long video. <laughs> because if it's one part vlog, one part let's play, one part reaction, one part music cover, one part uh, voiceover thing, yada yada. That would be incredibly long. So, I'm actually at a haircut in place right now, and I thought they were open, but I guess they're not. So, I'll just sit here and talk then. <laughs> well, that kind of puts a butcher in my, uh, one of my plans this morning. I guess I just have to recall and see what time she's open, but I'm getting sidetracked, and I get sidetracked way too easily. So, uh, Speaking of which, I don't remember where I was at in that conversation. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, 
People are like, you know, why did you call yourself Amalgam Wild Card? Well, Amalgam is like a mixture of different things. Uh, and the Wild Card <laughs> is supposed to be like this underdog. Uh, you know, the Wild Card, you know, some something nobody sees coming. It supposedly rises from the ashes of nothingness and stands out above the rest. So, I don't know, I guess in my mind I was thinking, I am this underdog that has a lot of different content to offer. And so far, I haven't done a good job of that. Uh... I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the reactions, it's just I'm ready to start doing other things and living up to my name, I guess. So I think part of the reformatting would also include a name change. And I am thinking the Amalgamaniac. I know what you're thinking, dude. You're not a maniac. Just look at this video. You're way too mellow. I can be crazy if I want to. <laughs> so yeah. Although that may not make me a maniac. It may just make me weird. Yeah! I'm also obviously not used to vlogging. Mainly because I talk so slow and I think slow. But uh, that's just how I am. It's not just a southern thing. I just go slow. <laughs> so, uh, I had, I was going to get a haircut this morning. You know, I'm going to go ahead and call her. So she doesn't open till nine. I thought she'd already be open. I was wrong. I was a fool. A fool. Yeah, as far as my channel goes, I started trying to brainstorm last night. Uh, and what I came up with was the the channel name change. I'm still debating on that. Go to your freaking car! Stop signs or stop signs. Not red lights. I got to stretch it again. <laughs> so, uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was brainstorming last night thinking about real reformatting for my channel and what I came up with was the name change possibly to Amalgamaniac uh, it might not look it but I can be pretty crazy pretty cray cray and trying to do different types of, a different type of video. And what I'm thinking it might turn into is it might include videos like this, just me talking about random crap. Uh, and then possibly including previews of different content I already have recorded or planned or whatever uh, possibly like it start out as a vlog and then it would transition into like uh, probably a reaction and then transfer transition into a uh, a let's play and then transfer back to a vlog and then transfer back to voiceover stuff and then I don't know it's it's a uh, it's an idea I guess just be glad I did not solely uh, invest myself as a vlogger I guess I'm not I'm boring. 
you don't got to tell me twice. I'm just saying, although I'm, I am just a chill person, but I can also be, like the new channel name would suggest, a maniac. It's just freaking early in the morning. Good Lord. It's only 8.30. I still got 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what I'm planning, as far as haircuts go, I want it all gone. Like, it all gone. And that's why I didn't mind recording myself as soon as I woke up. Nappy head and all. Because, uh, Oh, that's going to be gone. <laughs> and the funny thing is, my mom don't know about it either. <laughs> She's like, hey, go buy, uh, go buy the haircut in place. Just use some money to get it cut. The funny thing is, I'm getting it all cut, and she don't know about it. <laughs> it it'll be interesting, because I've never gotten it that short like almost shaved head so uh good times good times so uh yeah i don't think i'm going to test my whole uh, vlog and then different types of previews thing today i may change my mind as the day goes on but i think this is just going to be a, a simple vlog talking about things i sort of want to react to some of the DC shows again. I didn't stop because I lost interest. I mean, I've been... <coughs> I'm caught up eh, for the most part with all of the DC shows. Flash is the one I'm most caught up with. I've been sticking with that almost every week. Followed by Arrow, followed by Legends of Tomorrow, followed by Supergirl. And yes, I watched the Legends of Tomorrow season finale. It was freaking awesome. Uh, what happened to Reverse Flash? Spoiler, but uh, he died. <laughs> Reverse Flash. <laughs> Black Flash straight up just <laughs> took out his heart. I don't know if he took out his heart. He might have just shredded it. <laughs> Vibrated in and out. As far as we know, Reverse Flash is dead. Which is interesting because a Flash movie is in production. Why is that interesting? Because Reverse Flash may be involved in it. Or was that Justice League that there were rumors about it? Hmm, I don't remember. I do remember some articles talking about there being, they're going to have Reverse Flash in it. Maybe. And if they killed off Reverse Flash in Legends of Tomorrow, those copyright craps are still in effect. It's funny. Because DC fanboys, yes, I will refer to you as such. DC fanboys talk to fans of Marvel saying, Ha! At least we have all our characters, you know. Uh, we don't have any copyright issues, you know. It's better to have separate universes. You know, what's the point of having a connected universe if you'll never cross over with each other? And to that I say, uh, it's better to have a connected com universe that never cross overs than to have two separate universes that, geez, it just got dark. And that just ruined my ending. It's better to have two connected universes that never cross over than to have two separate universes 
that I guess take away from each other if that makes sense because you know if the movies want if the DC movies want to do something it's always the DC TV shows that suffer I mean think about it what started it all I think it was the Suicide Squad episode on Arrow there was a supposed Harley Quinn appearance but she was not allowed to be there because DC had bigger plans for her aka the Suicide Squad movie they kill off Deadshot because hey Deadshot's gonna be in the upcoming Suicide Squad movie they freaking kill off Amanda Waller on Arrow because she's gonna be in the Suicide Squad movie yay for a while we were not able to have any of the big three in DC because there were plans for them in the movie Superman is still on Supergirl for now and there are plans of bringing him back however Justice League isn't out until like November so yeah now I heard that they're either a trying to bring him back before the end of the season or bring him back sometime next season of Supergirl which is you know either back by the end of season two or bring him back for season three now let's think about this for a minute the DC shows usually come back around August September October I do not remember it's one of those three months I think it was October and uh, Justice League Trump comes out in November so they have plenty of room to bring him back in <laughs> or they could make a horrible mistake of killing off Superman and Supergirl because he comes back in Justice League we all know he comes back in Justice League it's just a matter of time so I'm assuming his supposed death in Batman vs Superman was the window for Superman and Supergirl to come in so uh, we also don't have a TV Batman but guess what Gotham is training little Bruce Wayne to learn how to fight I mean I realize it's a different type of portrayal but uh what I just it doesn't make sense okay you're making him Batman long before he's supposed to I mean is your show well yet yeah, I will answer the question yes the show actually is that boring but producers is the show really that boring that you have to jump start his Batman origins although this whole show is technically an origin but uh his Batman fighting experience I guess I mean is his story really that boring yes but is it really that boring that you have to jump start all of the actual Batman qualities of Bruce Wayne I mean is Bruce Wayne's story itself really that boring to you the answer is yes uh, see 
here's the thing about Gotham, in my opinion. It's also the same thing that the the Krypton series will will suffer from. And it's also the same thing, in my opinion, that Agent Carter suffers from. They are all, all three shows, irrelevant. Hear me. All three shows are irrelevant. Because you already know how their story turns out. Oh, we got a show about Krypton. They all die. They all die. That's the horrible truth. They all die. So, this is pretty much a documentary before their death. And plus, listen. The, the most interesting thing about Kryptonians are their powers. On Krypton, they have no powers. So... Why would you watch? I don't see a point as far as Gotham goes. <laughs> they are I think my best way to sum it up is It's a show about I'm trying very carefully to figure out how I word this. Well, at face value, it's like, well, it started out as a cop show with comic book elements. And seeing how they're trying to focus more on Bruce Wayne's Batman training, I'm guessing it's shifting from that theme. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I haven't watched Gotham. I watched the first couple episodes, and I stopped because it was boring, in my opinion. But, uh... Although I hear a lot of the Jerome Joker stuff has been great. Uh, that's what I've been hearing. I've been seeing a little bit of his performance. I'm like, that dude screams Joker. And if he's not Joker, then they're just messing with everybody. So, uh, apparently him and Bruce Wayne went at it, I think, last season, I guess. And everybody was freaking out about it. So I might have to look that up on YouTube. YouTube. And see if there's a scene that I can react to, possibly. I don't know. But, uh... I don't know. Gotham's never really drew me in. Drawn me in. I guess. Because, like I said, it seems more like a cop show with comic book elements since they're not actually able to do a Batman show. So I think it's funny how they're like, you know, we're going to make a Batman show anyways with younger Bruce Wayne. Obviously, he can't be called Batman because uh, he's the movie's big money maker. And if... Oh, no... Imagine if DC TV was able to do Batman and they did Batman better than the movies. And I know I know there has there's a similar line crossed as far as Superman goes because regardless of what you think of DC's movies. I love Henry Cavill as Superman. But. As soon as I saw Tyler Hecklin on Supergirl as Superman. I'm like. That is Superman. Who the heck is this poser? But you know. Tyler Hecklin is sort of small. I mean, he's athletically, athletically built. He has an athletic build. What? What am I trying to say? Uh, he. I mean, he's built, but he's. I, th I think there's a comfortable medium between his current build and Henry Cavill's build. <laughs> uh. 
Although it does make sense. I mean, whatever build he has, I mean, it doesn't really matter because he gets his strength from the sun. So, uh... I guess, theoretically, as long as he has the super strength, he's still accurate. Uh... Because technically, Su Superman doesn't have to work out, if I remember right. I mean, he he's super strong regardless of what he looks like. So, I don't know. I guess his build was somewhat nitpicky. Which <laughs> reinforces my statement. Tyler Hecklin, in my opinion, is sort of better than Henry Cavill's Superman. In my opinion. That's very important. Because <laughs> I know somebody's going to jump on me for that. Although, in my defense, I don't care. <laughs> Screw your feelings. They weren't able to use Harley Quinn in the Suicide Squad episode on Arrow. They killed off Deadshot on Arrow. They killed off Amanda Waller on Arrow. Uh, they were only able to use King Shark uh, on Flash. Probably because Suicide Squad didn't have any plans for him. They used Killer Croc in their movie. Wait, I already had four different points. Oh, that was DC's uh, Trinity. Kill this one's for Killer King Shark. King Shark. That's five points. They were only able to use King Shark on Flash because the Suicide Squad movie had no plans for him. Because he's not realistic. Well, neither is Killer Croc, yet look what they did to him, you know? They just made him a funky-looking dude with stuff wrong with his face, I guess. So, uh, it's funny, because now I need to start driving back to Ellisville to get my hair cut. <laughs> and now just looks like a funky-looking dude with, I don't know, He has weird teeth and scales for skin. I think that's the first time I missed that branch from hitting my vehicle either. That's, I get distracted way too easily. So, uh, wait! Let me resituate things. I don't know what kind of voice noise this is using my crap. Okay, well, it's close enough. So, uh, maybe. Is that blocking my sound? Okay, anyways. I'm so ready. I did not press the button! Pardon? I'm so ready. No. Pardon? I'm so ready. To dial a phone number, say dial. Then when prompted, say your phone number all at once, with no pauses. To call a stored phone number, say call. For route guidance, press the blue OnStar button. Thank you. Goodbye. Is that all I had to do? Stupid OnStar, I did not mean to press your button. Stupid OnStar, I did not mean to press your button. Stupid OnStar. Now you're ruining my setup! Thank you. Goodbye. Don't press the button! Please! I think I'm set up again. Anyways! That completely made me lose my train of thought. I was talking about copyrights. Talking about Killer Croc. Killer Croc was a horribly misused character in Suicide Squad. And he just looked horrible as well. None! Listen to me, DC! For all that is good in the world, stop with the ultra-realistic approach. 
they are freaking comic book characters. At least attempt to do them accurately. It all started with the Dark Knight. Wait. The Dark Knight Trilogy. Where you started to do your ultra realistic approach. And they started being successful. And you're like, yeah. That's what the audience wants. Ultra realistic Batman. No. We just thought the Batman movies were good. We didn't want you to make them ultra realistic, thereby, therefore, actually making the universe unrealistic. Because let's think about this for a minute. Bruce Wayne, aka Batman, in the Dark Knight trilogy, was a horrible fighter. Why do you think they gave him freaking battle armor? Because he would get beat up all the time. Because he doesn't actually have any fight training. Like, uh-uh, he trained with Rachel Ghoul. Where did that training go? I'm sorry, where did that training go after he left the League of Shadows? Where? You never saw that training pop back up again. Even when he was fighting Ra's al Ghul in Batman Begins, if I remember right. His fighting was still horrible. I, I say this all the time. Bale's Batman had the fighting skills of an out-of-practice boxer. I mean, am I wrong? That Bale's fighting is the one thing that completely unimmerses me from those movies. I think that's the right word. Unimmerses? Immerses? Emerges? I, I don't know. But, uh, unemerges? I, I guess that's the right word. From those movies, because he does not do a bad job as Bruce Wayne. He just does a horrible job as Batman. And I know he had some kind of pride thing going on because he was like, you know, I want to do my own uh, fighting choreography or my own stunts or something along that line. But that is where his real weakness came in because Batman is this master hand-to-hand -hand combatant. We never saw any of that. Batman, of course, uses gadgets. But in the movie, they're just a crutch for him to lean on. Batman is supposed to be this, quote unquote, world's greatest detective. We only saw glimpses of that in the trilogy. I know the realistic approach would be to have Batman as a normal uh, uh, millionaire, billionaire. And like, realistically, it'd say if someone is Donald Trump were to become Batman, how would he go about things? Well, if you put it that way, Donald Trump doesn't have any fighting skills. He has enough money to make the gadgets and the bat suit. So, I guess technically you're Bruce Wayne was Donald Trump in a sense. We're just the generic millionaire slash billionaire which, with too much money and time on his hands. Although, look at Tony Stark and see how they adapted his storyline. I mean, as far as quality goes, the Dark Knight movies are... Overall, they're good. But obviously, they vary in quality. Uh, the Dark Knight is by far the best out of the three. And I think it's funny how that people still say those movies are the best superhero movies of all time. Because you're completely lying to yourself. You are. I mean, if you are so hung up 
on Nolan that you still think his movies are the the gold standard as far as super, superhero movies go you're just lying to yourself I mean it's I and mean, it's not just DC people on Marvel they're like you know all these newer superhero movies they just don't hold a candle to the original Spider-Man trilogy you lying too the only Spider-Man movie in my opinion worth re-watching of the original trilogy is Spider-Man 2 and that's only because of Doc Ock. The funny thing is, the only thing, the only redeeming quality of the original Spider-Man trilogy is the villains. Because let's face it, Tobey Maguire sucks. He does. I'm just going to come out and say it. Tobey Maguire sucks as Spider-Man and Peter Parker, by the way. Solely because he sucks as an actor. I'm just going to go ahead and point that out as well. Because uh, that's my opinion. I'm allowed to have it, right? So, uh, people say, oh, he was the most uh, accurate version of Peter Parker. Um, possibly. But... It don't matter how you look if you can't sell it. Okay? You might as well have just gone into a high school, grabbed the nerdiest person you can find that looks similar to how Peter Parker could have looked, and just threw him into the movie. Right? I mean, Tobey Maguire sucks. So they might as well have just grabbed some random person and put them in instead. Uh, as far as Kirsten Dunst goes, uh, they could have gotten someone better for Mary Jane. Uh, as far as Aunt May's actress goes, she's alright. She's decent. James Franco is alright as Harry. But, like I said, the only redeeming qualities of the original trilogy, in my opinion, are the villains. And somehow, I got off on this random tangent. Because I, I was still talking about the freaking copyrights. Uh, and the funny thing is, I'm now about to go get a haircut. Which means I have even more time to forget about what I was talking about. Uh, stay tuned. Hmm. Not bad. So, back to what I was talking about. Ooh, copyrights! I didn't forget. So, although I think I do forget where I was at, I'd rather not remember what uh, subject I was specifically talking about but at the general direction of copyrights let me wait until I get on the straightaway first these people drive like maniacs you pieces of trash so <laughs> uh, let's finish off the video with Steve Austin I'm just kidding I'm not going to do that uh I would meant to go to Sonic. I wanted to read 44 Root Beer. Well, decide what you want to do, 18 wheeler. I'm almost on the straightaway. Coming off that exit, though. Yo! Don't teach me! Well, you better slow down, you heifer! The heck are you doing? You almost tried to run me over, you piece of mess. Zoom past me. Zoom past me. Good lord. Anyways, 
Back to copyrights. Uh, talking about DC. I'm not going to try to name off all the points because I'm sure you can figure them out by yourself. But, uh, yeah, just the general topic of copyrights. DC likes having a supposedly separate TV and movie universe. Yet, the TVs always suffer when the movies want to do something. Especially if they want to use characters that the movies are also planning on using they end up getting screwed over in the process so it's just stupid okay at least with Marvel sure there there's only one of each character in their universe as well but it's all connected so therefore it doesn't I don't see it as an issue if uh well what am I trying to say? I don't see it as an issue if the characters are used in their TV shows and not in the movies I guess or vice versa I mean, because it's all connected. I mean, it's all one continuous universe. You know? And plus, realistically, you're not going to hire someone like Chris Evans to do Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or Robert Downey Jr. to do Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Or... I don't know. I think it'd be pretty cool if you could put Tom Holland, Tom Holland Spider-Man, and have him cross over with the Defenders on Netflix. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, I think it would be more doable to have some of the TV shows cross over with some of the Netflix shows. That's, I don't want to say completely doable, because I'm sure there's different scheduling conflicts that I'm not taking into consideration. But, uh, Realistically, it'd be easier for them to cross over than to have the shows cross over with the movies. And I never saw the outcry. They're like, oh, these these aren't really connected because, you know, you'll never see the TV universe in the movies. You know, why are you saying they're connected if you'll never see them with each other? Because they are connected, okay? I've said this numerous times in posts on Facebook. And it goes a little something like this. The movie universe is the centerpiece for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I think we can all agree on that. Now, as far as the shows go, the shows are a nice in addition to the movie universe. There's a reason why it's called the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Because cinematics usually involve movies. And uh, TV shows are not movies. Although there are TV show movies. <laughs> Anyways. The shows are in addition to the movie universe. The shows build up the movie universe and give it a nice solid foundation I guess so would I like to see the TV, TV characters cross over with the movie characters? Sure would it bother me if they don't? No I mean aside from the fact that Nick Fury Samuel Jackson has already made an appearance or two in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. but uh that's beside the point. That should more than prove that they're connected if you had any doubts but some people are just never satisfied. I need to get this exit. Excuse me 18 wheeler. 
Excuse me. Move. Get out the way. Anyways. Yeah, they are all 100% connected. Even though there have been a couple actors and actresses who have been double cast, even if they were minor roles. So, uh. That doesn't make a difference, though. I mean, it's not like those minor characters will ever meet. You know, like, uh, the woman who played Peter Quill's mother in, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, she was apparently also in Captain America the First Avenger. I don't remember which one she was, but, uh, I remember hearing that at one point. And... Let's see, the guy who was, I don't want to screw up his name, it's like Mr. Potter, I think, in Daredevil, you remember the guy who was making all the suits, he made Wilson Fisk's jacket and Daredevil's suit at the end of season one, uh, and we're about to get back into darkness, <laughs> uh, yeah. Apparently he was in Daredevil and the All Hail the King one shot. So I mean there there's a couple people that have been uh, double cast in roles, but uh, that doesn't detract from the fact that they're all connected. I mean they could always recast those roles if uh. Hey, look at my hand. They could always recast those roles if they wanted to. To avoid the double casting. So, yeah. Welcome back to my home. Whee! Getting there. Oh. Oh, something just got caught on my vehicle. So, yeah. I almost parked too close to the edge. I'm on the edge of glory. I need to put down my drink. So, I have no idea how long I'm going to record for. It's already been a freakishly long amount as is. So, what am I going to do now? Lord, what is wrong with this picture? What's wrong with my camera? It looks weird. Yeah, I can't see nothing. Let me sit somewhere with some light for a second. That's not light. What the mess? Does this all look familiar? Well, it should. Is it starting to clear up now? I don't think so. Get my stupid clothes being out of the way. Ah! Something's about to get knocked over. And I don't want that to happen. Stupid piano's in my way. I'm trying to move stuff and it's screwing with me. It is. So I would just sit on a stool with my background. How about that? So, uh, why does it look so different? See, so this is what my usual setup was. And I, hey, what's up, guys? I'm Malcolm Wildcard here. Woo! Yeah, I guess that looks familiar. So, what was I talking about? <laughs> I think I finished talking about everything. Uh, so yeah, like I was saying before, I am planning on reformatting my channel, I guess, to changing my name, I guess, to The Amalgamaniac. Possibly. I haven't decided... That haircut, though. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to figure out how I want to format my videos now. Because. Like I said. I am planning on a new type. Of video. That has. Multiple parts, I guess. Even though editing this video itself. Is already going to be super long. 
Although, I mean, I don't know. Maybe cramming all my stuff into one video would help, I guess. And I could put different time markers on. Hey, if you're here for this, click on that. That will take you to the section that you want to get to. Maybe. <laughs> so, yeah. I kind of look more like Steve Austin now. I, that was not my intention. But now I see that it is pretty accurate now. Although he is, he is bald and I'm just close to being bald. Anyways, awkward situations. How would you respond? So, like I said, if, if, especially seeing how long this video is so far, if I decide to be like, hey, I'm going to put multiple parts in this video. One part blog, vlog, <laughs> one part reaction, one part Let's play one part, one part, uh, voiceover showcase, I guess. Uh, was there another part? I hope not. <laughs> this is freaking long. So, yeah, I guess the only way to end this would be in the style of Steve Austin. So, that's it, you pieces of trash. If you like the video, like, subscribe, and share. Leave your comments down below. And that is the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Peace, guys.